one of the really cool things about drones is they present this kind of creative canvas. There's this inherent freedom in flight. You can move in three dimensions. You can go anywhere you want at any time you want. And when you pair that with autonomy and AI, uh, I think there's just a bunch of really exciting possibilities. And we've gotten to see that come to life as we've, we've built this system. Our mission is to open up the power of what drones can do by making them trustworthy and autonomous. We've come up with a pretty different user experience of what you get with a normal drone. So all of the complexity that would normally be in flying the thing is just in a really simple mobile app. So you control it from your phone. The app is built essentially like the camera app on your phone. Our product will just fly itself and capture amazing video without you having to do anything. Skydio is a startup that's building fully autonomous drones based around computer vision. Our focus in our first product is based around video and a consumer use case. And at the same time, we're building and pushing forward the core technology of autonomous navigation. So what can we understand from these images? Like how does the drone move? How do we avoid obstacles? How do we get good shots and track people in aggressive scenarios? All the same types of things that go into self-driving cars, you know, the core enabler for, for autonomous navigation. We're playing in a space where autonomy really matters. It opens up a lot of interesting applications and capabilities. The trajectories of autonomous systems and electric power, computers are getting small enough and light enough and cheap enough. Sensors are getting good enough. The AI and machine learning is getting mature enough, like those algorithms are actually getting robust enough where you can build a product and a product experience around them. I think the Udacity Flying Car Nanodegree program is a really great way for people who have a background in maybe software engineering or engineering generally and are interested in autonomous systems to get exposure to a bunch of different super relevant topics for what it takes to, to build an autonomous flying system. So I think we're at a point where we're going to see rapid progress and it's a super exciting time to be getting into this industry.